work. <laughs> I hope that got caught on camera. It's a beautiful day. I probably can't sing that song, but you know, in the neighborhood. What's up, everybody? It's your host, Monkey Mike, back again. Thanks for joining me today. Today, we're here with the Miata rear differential and a set of axles for each side. The hubs are still on these ones because I couldn't get them off. I did try as hard as I possibly could. As you can see there, that thing is just mashed. So is this one. Uh, one of them sat inside of this press right here for over two months with full pressure on it and constantly coming out, putting more pressure on it, you know, with my uh, ghetto rig deal there. And we had no luck at all. So today I want to talk to you about the difference between the two sets. So as you can see here, we have the 1.6 liter stuff and even just everything everything about the differential is well different the axles as you can see are different sizes the 1.8 liter axles are much bigger these ones here have a bolt-in flange whereas these ones here whereas sorry whereas these ones here are splined with a snap ring and that's what holds it in here you can see the axle seals the mounting area for the PPF is also different. This little, I believe it's aluminum, maybe steel, but I'm pretty sure this is aluminum. This little guy here goes, sits in here, and it, you can see where it's dirty and then, you know, a little cleaner or vice versa. And this little alignment piece sits inside there and it drops inside there. This one here from the factory cast has that little arm and this one sits in here just the same as you can see there. I do have the poly bushings set on here. So all I did was just press that out, push these in, bada boom, bada bing, there it is. You can also see that this one here has like a vibration gaibo type setup, and this one here does not. The 1.6 liter housing is much smaller. This has a six inch ring, ring gear. This one has a seven inch ring gear. Everything about it is different. Much smaller in comparison. You can see the this one here is just longer in general. Uh, it's got more fins. Well, I wouldn't, I'm not sure if it has more fins, but the housing overall is bigger. It looks like the fill and drain are basically in the same spots. The vent tubes in the same spot. This one has, you know, weird little casting perforation thingies on it. Whereas this one here does not. This one actually uses the same seven inch ring gear that the Honda S2000 uses. So we could just see overall, the 1.6 liter is much smaller, much less ability to take any kind of power, whereas the 1.8 liter is overall beefier, much tougher, and just looks like it can take more of a beating. Bear with me a moment here. I'm gonna get these cracked open so we can take a look at what the interior looks like. One really neat thing about the 1.6 liter rear differential is that you don't have to completely drain it in order to take it apart. You can actually, well, to take it off, I should say. You can remove that rear differential from the vehicle without draining any of the fluid at all. Not that that makes any sense why you would do something like that, because if you're taking it out, obviously something is wrong. The only other difference that I could see would be if you were changing the bushings. And uh, again, it's just kind of nice to not have to drain it if you didn't want to. Whereas the 1.8 liter diff, you're definitely going to have to drain it before you take it off. Because it's just going to pour out of that hole right there and make a big old mess all over you. So I believe this is a 23 millimeter, but we got a 24. I'm just going to have to hope that it works. There it is. Due to the compact nature of this differential, it is just a bit more easier to work with as well. It's not gonna tip over and stuff. Who knows how old this gear fluid is. Definitely a lot older than the stuff that's in there now. Ew. All right, that'll have to do. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just start removing looks like the 12 millimeter bolts. All our bolts are out. There are some that are longer than others. Definitely need to note where those are. So like 
That one right there is longer. And the one in the back corner right here is longer. And those are easy to see because they are raised up. But it's just good to note that that's, that's where they need to be at. There, it's starting to spin. All right. <laughs> I hope that got caught on camera. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Barely missed my foot. That, folks, is why you wear flip-flops, right? Quick movements. Totally safe. Totally not safe. So there you have it. And it is the 1.6 liter rear differential. And right in there is what you would want to weld up. All right, then. So now we need to pull that one apart. And I'm going to be a lot nicer with that one there because I actually care about it. But this... This is just kind of a precursor to let us know what we're getting into. We'll go ahead and sit this guy back where it was. Now I'm just going to basically do the exact same thing. Rinse and repeat. So I'm going to set it up like this. And just like last time, that seems to be getting it to move a little bit. Yep, look at that. So tapping it on this top side and rotating it does seem to work pretty well. See, I can just start moving it by hand now. Yep, look at that. And, oh man, this one's twice as heavy. Oh, that is just so much beefier. Everything about it. It's a much, much bigger unit. <laughs> All right, we need to figure out why this is leaking. I think it was just a seal, to be completely honest. Looks pretty nice and clean in that case, too. Whereas this one here is just nasty. Good job. Yep. Working on the car. Making a video about it. What are you doing? Well, thank you. Welcome. All right, so we got it all pulled out. As you can see here, I mean, this one is in the sun, but just look how much cleaner it is. Now, a lot of that could be because I have flushed out the diff fluid, and this one here I did not. But that thing is just black, like making me wonder if it's ever been changed. It's pretty gross in there. This, but you know. Just, it looks nicer, much much cleaner in here. Maybe a, a more low mileage diff, I'm not quite sure. This is from a 97, and this one is from a 91. As long as the diff has never been changed out. As far as the ring gear is concerned, I mean, look how much smaller that is in comparison. Six inch versus seven inch. That's what she said. It seems that it definitely matters. So same thing here, what we're looking to fix, and by fix, I mean weld the crap out of, it's right there in the spider gears. See how those turn? We don't want those to turn no more. We want to make those one solid unit. So we're just going to weld all in here and in here, and then we're going to have to find a way to get in here and in here. Thankfully, because we're using MIG, we can do that. And then we have to turn it over this way and do it again. We just gotta make sure that we don't get into here where the axle shaft will come. We can weld all this crab, we can put in the old little metal plate in there, which we probably will make one. And uh, yeah, so this is just kind of a video showing the comparison of the two differentials. The reason why you want to swap up to the 1.8 liter versus the 1.6, I mean, these axles alone, you're going to try to put down some power. These little guys aren't going to take very much. And even just, you know, if you're not putting down a lot of power, but you're looking to do some drifting, this 1.6 differential is just going to keep blowing up. I'm the homie little clutch kick, man, he's all about it. But he does break these things quite often. A lot of times, I'm guessing he's just shearing the teeth off. Because even, you can see that the tooth cut 
this is far deeper. Okay, that's like my whole fingernail. Whereas that one there is like three quarters of my fingernail. I know that's a super, super scientific way to measure it. We'll just stick this in here. See, it goes to right there. <laughs> you feel me? This is definitely, this is definitely just all the way around a beefier way to go. So just go get you, you know, a 1.8 liter open diff, weld that sucker and get on with your bad drifty self. Yep, there it is, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.